there seems to be an awful lot of them coming through Rolex now. I'm probably offered a few every day. This one we can make 3,000. So retail price on this is 3,200. 16610. 3,950. I wouldn't like to pay more than list price now to no. sell one. That's a new one. Oh, I love that. Would 2,400 worth? So we've got a deal anyway. <laughs> we do indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've just started rotating out of just the normal stuff. Although certainly the last year, I've, I've, there's a big trend to downsizing. It seems to be the sub I probably wore eight or nine times. I think the Batman twice, two three times. That's it. They're both in very good condition. You know, I want them to go to someone who's going to really just wear them and appreciate them. That, okay, so. we have a 41 mil sub non date. So it's the newest model with a new card, full set, and I have to say. Looking at the clasp, it looks like it hasn't been worn at all. No, There's a couple no. of marks on it, but yeah. very, very subtle. No, no, it's virtually... No. I can't call it unworn, because yeah. I'd be lying, but it's as near as... We're not far as near as at all. It. If it had suited my wrist, that would have been the one model, because, you know... You think yeah, it's, a, a, it's go, a good it's everyday watch, but it is a big watch, and it is. something like what you've got on, you can wear oh, yeah. every day, yeah. and yet you don't notice that it's there. No, no. I like it because it's got an interesting movement. It's uh, the 8J movement rather than the 9J. Many people in Grand Seiko reckon that this was the best quartz movement they ever made. The newer one is the 9J, which is has an encapsulated, so it's a sealed movement, right. the new quartz, so it's like a 50 year sealed for life. This one has a 20 year, so this is actually one year, one year over, and it's probably just about ready for service, but these would have been sealed for 20 years. Yeah, so how, how are you seeing the demand across the range at the moment? Um, as I said, under 30 grand seems to be the... The same the, demand as always, just the price point is less, so it's yeah. better value to people buying. Mm -hmm. I think people are seeing better value in part exchange as well. Mm -hmm. It's just people that have bought in the last 18 months that are coming to sell. They're coming to crop where it's an issue, yeah. Top of the market, you could have bought, paid 14 grand for one of those. I've be... sold these probably for like 18 and a half thousand wow. in the last 18 months, but now the price point's probably be between 14 yeah. and 15 yeah. Yeah. for a new one, yeah. depending on the bracelet, the condition, and everything like that. Okay. I guess yeah. 2021 Batman, new card, the 126710BLNR, and again, this is an immaculate condition, maybe worn once or twice. Whoever buys that, I will offer if they want it polished or not, because it's not necessary. I would rather polish it in a year's time for them yeah, when it needs yeah, it. So oh, with nice. the outright purchase, yeah. I'll give you a purchase agreement today. Yeah. We'll schedule a payment with the consignment. You'll get a consignment agreement. It'll have all of the figures on. Yeah. We will sell the watch for 10% more than the figure I've quoted you. Okay. I'll advertise it for a little bit more yeah, yeah. for a margin with chrono fees or if somebody wants to make a bid, which is a lot more common now because there's so many watches for sale. Yeah. I would say that we sell a Batman or a Batgirl every Week, so I can't see it hanging around. I think they are one of the prettiest models, personally. I would say that and on Jubilee are the, yeah. the most common watch that we sell. Mm. We seem to be doing a lot of the one nicknamed the Sprite at the moment as well, you know, the left handed the left, one. Yeah, the, um, uh, the Destro. We've probably sold four or five of those in the last 10 days. Really? What about 18, 19 grand? Uh, probably a little bit less than that now. Okay. But when they first came out, we sold two for Pi 30s wow. because people just wanted to have the first one. There seems to be an awful lot of them coming through Rolex now. I'm probably offered a few every day. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. I mean, all the reviews I've read of it, they just say the, it's just the subtlety, isn't it, between the... Because, uh, so Steve, the hardest thing to get right is the, co the colourways mm. on the ceramic. So that must be grey, and then they'll do half black. Yes. I can't imagine it'll go the other way around. No, because um, that's why they struggled with the Pepsi originally. They, they, they have real problems getting the... And, that, and that's the tricky thing. We've actually got three of these in store at the moment. You've got three of those? Yeah. Wow. But again... They went like that. When they first came out, I yeah, wouldn't like to pay more than list price now to no. sell one. Okay, so we just had a gentleman in. He bought two watches. One is a 41 mil Submariner non-date. We bought that one outright. And a GMT Master 2. The 126710 BLNR and the 124060. Both the latest models. That was an outright purchase. And we've took that on consignment for 12,500.
to Claudia Tank. So I know you asked about the size, so it's the 29.5mm. Yeah. So it's fully brand new, boxing papers, everything. It's dated 2022, I believe. So here's the leather strap. So there is a slight price difference, but obviously this is a 2016 model, oh, yeah. whereas this is a 2022 new. So this, I believe, only comes on the leather strap. Oh, yeah. Doesn't come on the bracelet. And how much is this one? So this is a 24 mil. It's 2016. It's 2750. Oh, yeah. And that one's three. This one we can make 3,000. So retail price on this is 3,200. Oh, brand new. And this is a brand new model, fully stickered, as you can see. It's never been on a wrist. I'll get this one. Yeah. Yeah. No problem at all. Do you know the wrist size, or do you want um, to just give her it and then probably take, bring it back, and she can get it adjusted, or? Could I get some taken out so mm -hmm. it's roughly? Her size. Yeah. You just size it to your wrist. Yeah. Josh, size it to my girl wrist. Just size it to Josh's wrist because he's the closest thing that we have to a girl in here. Yes. Something for you. I was with a customer the other day and he said, Who's the really pretty one? I said, Well, that wouldn't be me. That would be Josh. And he'd said, That's him with a yeah. baby face <laughs> and a pretty smile. So I think you have a farm, Josh. Well, it's a full bracelet, so maybe stay like four links maybe. just try mine because mine's like 70 actually yes what yours so. actually yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. Okay. i'll take two links out. yeah take two and if she if she needs not. any more out or she yeah. needs links in she can just bring it back yeah, yeah. we'll do it for you no problem how would you like to pay would you transfer a card or yeah no problem do you have your id do you have a license or anything consignment so Plus the watch isn't unworn. Did I send you the offer by WhatsApp or uh, by? It was email. It, it will have had a range on an email, so it would have said between 2,300 sure. and 2,500. And the difference in that is for the price of a polish. It's a watch that we sell for less than the list price. That would be our bid on consignment. So it would be 2,300. Yeah. We wouldn't be looking at uh, 25. Well, no, because like I say, the difference in that is it's the cost. The one yeah, that, that would be for a brand new on one one. It may be possible for you to get a little bit more if somebody checks out for the full asking price. Would 2,400 worth? Make it difficult. I'm just trying to make, <laughs> make, it, make it worth your while coming that time. I know, I know. Thank you. Um, is there no way? Because genuinely, I was gonna let it go for 27, but I know that's unrealistic. So if we can get 25, I'll just leave it with you now. I think 24 would be the best because it needs polished. Um, 2,450. So fine. you're not leaving without it. <laughs> that's fine, I'll take that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So something like that is your more classic looking date, just that's a 36 mil by metal. Yeah. That is the same watch. But with an oyster bracelet, mm -hmm. which is probably a lot more rare, you seem to see more yeah, Jubilee yes, bracelet absolutely. on that watch. Absolutely. The 36 is really the right size for me. What's the difference if I don't go for a bimetal? If I go for a... Probably like a that. thousand less, but I think something like that. Those are both air kings as well, so mm -hmm. that's a new one. Oh, I love that. Yeah, more subtle. I prefer the stealthier ones. Mm -hmm. So I really like this one and this one also. If I choose to, rather than put it in consignment, swap it for one of those, yeah, what would be the difference? Right, so both of these two don't have any papers. Do you think that's something I should really care about or? Not really. I think that's from 1978 and that one's from 1972. I think that you'll get better value buying the watch and it'll be a similar difference when you sell it. I think because of the price point, they'll always be easy to sell. And more watches than not of that age don't have papers with them. No, of course not. Do you still believe there's any resale value in getting something like that? to look to sell it. Not that I'm looking to do that. I think over a medium to long term, so if you look over five years, over 10 years, they the, the generally will go up in value. So it would most likely be this one. I'm a sucker for silver dial, so yeah. That one is on our website for 3,950. Mm -hmm. So it, it would be like 1,500 a swap. I think that one's particularly nice if you compare them because it has the champagne, the like gold hands yeah. and batons and then it has like the, yeah. the old style fluted bezel and the yeah. Jubilee bracelet. Yeah. You see a lot more looking like that than you do like that. I think that's particularly nice. Do you want to maybe try it on and I'll yeah, see if it needs any links taken out? So you wouldn't put the value, if I'm exchanging, you wouldn't put it up a little bit? No, the part exchange value is somewhere Same usually between the purchase price and the part exchange price and I'm actually offering you the full part exchange value um, towards that watch. So John, just to explain the deal, because this is a Tudor Black Bay Pro. It is, it's a Tudor Black Bay Pro. I offered the gentleman £2,000 to purchase the watch. 
2500 on consignment minus the cost of a polish and I've just been shown some watches and we're just seeing if Jack can do a deal. What did you quote? 1500 as well. I'm sure we can do a little deal like John. What are you thinking? We can do 1200 John. Does that work? I had a few. Do you want to maybe have another look? There's not many Rolexes you can give 1200 pound and swap a Rolex <laughs> for a Tudor is it? <laughs> so we've got a deal anyway. <laughs> we do indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's that time of the week again. It's the deal of the week. So we've got you two more. We'll do out with the old, and then maybe in with a new. What we got here? We have a Submariner date. As you can see, non-ceramic bezel. It is a late watch, it's a 2007. It doesn't have the Rehort engraved, but it is a late model for a 2007. It's a great Berthier watch, this watch. As you can see, in pristine condition. I'm just getting that nice and straight. From 2007, the date, so 16610. This watch has just come back from service, and it has had a slight polish. As you can see, excellent, excellent condition. So that's a 2007 16610, product code 4. 714 and we have the new version the date so with the ceramic bezel this one is a 2022 126610 ln this one the ceramic version as you can see again this watch is like brand new it is 2022 the fourth month of 2022 so there you go i'll show you the differences in them this one is the non-ceramic a lot of people prefer the non-ceramic. Well, you, we don't see many, we don't get many of the, the older versions. But as you can see, that's the non-ceramic product code 4714. That is the ceramic 4627. We'll start with the non-ceramic. In 2007, that would have been around four, only £4,000 retail. In comparison to 2022. This one is 8650 list. That's for the 23 model. Okay, so it would be slightly less than 22. But we're going to start with the non-ceramic. Again, as you can see, pristine condition non-ceramic so it's on our website at 9250 it is a 2007 a great Berthier watch excellent condition 9250 on the website I was going to do it for 8450 but it's a Friday today I'm ready to rock and roll and go out I'm not going to do it for 8450 or 8250 I'm going to do this for under 8000 pound now the watch does come with full papers there's also a few service receipts dating back i think 2011 a couple of service receipts that is the paperwork there for the watch that's what way it comes just changed 2007 i would say and anyway back to the most important thing the price Again, 4714. I was going to do it for 8250. I'm going to do it for under 8000. You can have this watch, the non ceramic 2007 sub, for £7,950. The ceramic one, which is 2022, the fourth month, again, on our website, it's going up for 12750 I was going to do it for 11750 but I'm not. We've got a few in stock. Should I do it for less than 11250 Harry? Yes, why not? Friday afternoon. You can have the Ceramic Submariner 2022 date. This is the date model. Never ever we sold one this cheap. You can have it for 10850 And that product code is 4627. So there's the non-ceramic and there's a ceramic. Don't miss these two guys.